and we are back hello everyone welcome back to 5 minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than 5 minutes so without wasting time let's get started today's problem is count pairs with given sum which is marked as a easy level problem let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so basically we will be given one array arr of integer type and one integer target and what we have to do so basically we have to find number of pairs such that their sum is equal to target so we have to find pairs pairs basically means two elements only two elements such that their sum is equal to target and we have to find like total number how many pairs we can form such that their sum is equal to target okay all right so basically if you will see here target is equal to six so i have to find those elements i have to find those number of elements whose sum is equal to target okay so here we can see one comma five is one pair okay this one and this five is another pair okay and this 7 and minus 1 is another pair okay all right so there are three pairs now one thing which is very important to note here is suppose this 1 comma 5 is one pair so i cannot write again like something like 5 comma 1 is another pair okay 1 comma 5 and 5 comma 1 if there are same elements so same elements can be counted only once i hope that point is also clear like 1 5 i got now again if i will start with 5 so okay 5 1 again appear so this is not correct okay only one pair i have to count only once okay all right so in this way we have to return total number of pairs i hope the problem statement will be pretty clear to you now let's move on to the explanation our approach which we are going to take okay so basically first approach which will come in my mind is the brute force approach as well what i will do is pretty simple i will take two for loops one inside the other i will keep my i at let's suppose one okay i will start my j from i plus one i will start my j from i plus one and i will iterate over the whole array i will check if my arr of i and arr of j is equal to target if yes simply add to my count simply add to my count and at last i will return the count okay so this approach is pretty simple basically using two nested loops and one i value and start j from i plus one and simply check here if uh, their sum is equal to target add count but if you will see this will take the time complexity of big o of n square and if i will see the constraints here the constraints is that arr dot size should be less than like can be as greater than 10 raised to the power 5 so n square will be basically 10 raised to the power 10 which we all know will give me time limit exceed so what how can we avoid time limit exceed we have to let's say solve this in less than n square time complexity so let's see if we can solve this in big of n time complexity big of n time complexity okay so now look what i what i need to solve it in big of n time complexity that's a linear time complexity first thing which i need is to let's suppose at any point i got five let's suppose at any time i got five i want to know ki, yeah, look my target is six okay my current element is five target is six current element is five so if there is something like target minus current element if target minus current element is present i will say yeah yeah one pair i will i have got one pair i have got because current element and uh, target minus current element both are present so one pair i have got okay so in this way i have to check so now if i have to at any point know ki if target minus current element is present or not we can use a hash set we can simply use a hash set but here i have to find the count i have to find the total count so let's suppose let's take a very a easy example let's say 1 comma 1 comma 5 okay and my target is again equal to 6 okay very very easy example we are starting with now what i will say ki first of all and i will start from let's say 0 index 1 so i will check ki till this point till this point is target minus current element 1 5 is present no till this point till this point i have iterated this 5 is not present okay all right so my count will be now be 0 okay moving on now my again i will move to this one again i will check ki till this point till this one have i found target minus uh, target minus what one five target minus one is five so five is present no okay all right moving on so now i will move to this five again i will check is till this point till this point i have got target minus five current element yes okay one so one is there okay so but how many count of one is there now i need to get the number of count of one so that, that those many pairs i have got like five and now how many pairs of how many pairs of one are there so let's say two pair two two ones are there two one are there so i've got two pairs okay so for that i have to store the count of one like two count of one is there so i've got five count will be five uh two count will be two okay so now in this way i have to store the frequency as well so you know if i have to 
uh, store the frequency of elements and also to get it in big O of one time complexity key values. So which data structure we are going to use? Yes, you are absolutely correct. We are going to use the map here. We are going to use map. Okay. So very, very simple. It will be, uh, I will simply iterate over the all array elements and I will check if I have got my target minus current element into map. If yes, great it is. Store at the count of that frequency. And if not, simply store that number store that number let's say 5 into my map as well okay all right let's take one more example then so that it becomes more more clear to you uh, should we start from this one yeah let's take this okay so first of all i've got this one okay one so i will check what target this is my map for now let's suppose this is my map and this is my count of pairs okay all right so target is equal to 6 current element is 1 i will check key till this point till this point has is target minus current element one is present no it is not present okay all right so what i will do i will simply store this one into my map so one is stored in map with the cup frequency one okay all right again i got five i move to the next element now five i will check key till this point till this point is target is six current element is five so six minus five is what one one is present yes one is present so what i will do i will simply say key with what's the frequency of one one is the frequency okay so i say i got my one pair one pair yeah basically correct i have got one pair as well so let me use the pen so yeah i've got one pair five and one which is correct as well okay all right till this point we are correct now i will move to next element that is seven okay all right so till this point i have traversed i will check key are has i got till now do i have something like target minus minus seven which is which is what 13 so is 13 present no 13 is not present okay oh sorry what i'm doing six minus seven is equal to minus one so is minus one present is minus one present no it is not present till this point okay all right no issues simply add seven to my map and 5 will also be mapped. 5 will also be added. So 5 is also added with frequency 1. Okay. All right. Moving on now. I have got minus 1. Now I have got minus 1. So what I have to check is till this point I have traversed target 6 minus k minus 1. Which is equal to what? Which is equal to 7. So is 7 present? Yes. 7 is present. What's the frequency? 1. Okay. So add this frequency 1. All right. Now again add this minus 1 to my map as well. Okay, all right. Again, I reach to this five. I reach to this five. Again, I will check. Key is target six. Target is six minus current element five. Six minus five. One is one present in my map. Yes, one is present. What's the frequency? One. So add one. All right. And now I will update the frequency of five to two. Okay. All right. Very very simple it is. So now total count is three. Okay. All right. Now I think uh, the approach will be very very clear to you. I just want to take one more example to make it more more clear to you so that it does not leave any doubt in the approach okay so this one five one and target is equal to six this will clear this will be clear your doubts what i'm doing target is equal to six okay so first of all pointer at this one map is something like this and count is this okay so one uh, i will check six minus one is five five present till this point no it is not present so simply count will be zero and in map i will say something like key frequency of one is one okay all right now again what i will do I, I will move to this five let's say i will move to this five again i will check target is six six minus five is one one is present in map yes okay so count will be one okay all right and now uh, map map element five with frequency one will be added okay all right again i move to this one so what i will check now target is six minus five target is six minus 5 so which is equal to 1 is 1 present yes 1 is present with frequency 1 because now look till this point 1 is not added into map okay so that's why 6 minus 1 is 5 5 is present yes so add the count and now 1's frequency will be added to 2 1's frequency will be 2 okay all right now let's suppose one more element is there 5 again 5 is there okay all right so again let's say 5 is there so now what i will check pointer moves to this Again, what I will check target is equal to 6 minus 5 is equal to 1. Is 1 present? Yes, 1's frequency 1 is present 2 times. So, what I will add? I will add 1 2 times. Uh, count, I will increase the count 2 times. So, total pair is 4. Okay, all right, total pair is 4, which is correct as well. So, if you will see 1 5 
is pairing with these two ones and this five is also pairing with these two ones so you can see this approach is working absolutely correct and uh, yeah that's it guys that's it i think now let's move on to the code section but before that i have made a very cool chrome extension for you which you can see this watch tutorial button so let me give you a quick walkthrough of that Okay, all right, let's see the Chrome extension which I have built. So you will get this Chrome extension link in the pinned comment of this problem. So basically just click on that link and you will be directed to this window. Here we, you will get this add to Chrome button. Actually, I've already added it. So it's that's why it's giving me remove from Chrome. Okay, so you will get the add to Chrome button. Simply click on it and add it. Now let's move on to Geeks for Geeks. And you can see here that you will, you are we are getting this watch tutorial button. Okay, so just if we want to click on it, if I want to see the tutorial of it, okay, so I will simply click on this and this modal will open here and I can simply iterate over all the videos and if I want to see, I can simply see it. Okay, so this is my video only of yesterday, I think, or day before yesterday. We can simply see it, understand it here and if I'm not satisfied, let's say I want to see it on YouTube, simply click on this watch YouTube button and I will be redirected here as well. Okay, all right, isn't it cool? Yes, it is. Okay, so same thing, let's suppose I move to this target sum on the lead code and now I want to understand key yeah, I am not able to see I'm not able to get this code I want to watch a tutorial so don't no need to go on YouTube and type simply click on this watch tutorial button and here we are directed here simply if we want to watch any videos I can click this first one is mine only so I can simply click on this and I will move be moved here iterate over this if I'm not if I want to see it on large screen click on watch on YouTube but I think this much window is sufficient to X to understand and get the approach and if you want to subscribe subscribe it make sure you rate me on this give me the good rating on the chrome extension and if i you want to watch it in let's say day mode night mode both buttons i've added i've made my full effort in making it as much aesthetic as i can so make sure you download this chrome extension and uh, yeah that's it let's move on to the code then okay all right i think uh, you have definitely like the chrome extension so now let's see the code of it if the code is basically of two three uh, i will say four lines okay let's see that so first of all i will simply declare my map of integer type mp is equal to new hash map guys if you have loved the explanation till this point please subscribe the channel and share your comments as well like the video because it will really motivate me a lot okay all right let's take one count is equal to zero as well now let's simply use a for each loop for int i arr okay so in this way i will not be having the index but the element of arr okay all right so first of all let's say this one will come out as you know what i told very very easily if mp dot contains key what target minus i if mp contains this key so yes now what i will do i will increase the count I will increase my count by the frequency of target minus i because if you remember one comma five comma one so let's say if something was like this 1 comma 1 comma 5 so for 5 I will check key is 5 target is 6 minus 5 1 is present yes 1 is present 2 times so count will be increased 2 times okay so that only I will do count plus equal to mp dot get target minus i very very easy it is till this point and now what I will do I will simply update my map as well I will add this i to my map as well okay so a simple mp dot put what i and uh, mp dot get or default i comma zero plus one so if you are wondering what this line is doing so basically mp dot get or default basically means ki if i is present if i is present in my map already present get that frequency and increase it by once get the frequency and increase it by one if M i is not present till this point the frequency will be zero and now i will add one okay so very very pretty simple it is and after that i will simply return my count isn't it very very easy yes it is let's submit this meanwhile if you have loved the explanation please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video the chrome extension make sure you download it it's absolutely safe and free you can use it on both lead code and uh, geeks for geeks i'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye